holding as a three years now I'll get handicapped. That is what I've been more than one day, you know. It's true. Oh yes, one day I was recording at St. Joseph's Ken Cooper Studio. So I feel the right hand cramping. I want it cramping up, I rub it. But it moves from the fingers, it go to the wrist. And then it comes to the middle of the hand, the forearm. I say, look Ken, look this thing cramping yes, a better than thing. Well, as days go on and things, I went to different doctors, the finger cramping, I can't open it well. And it's still like that. But the left hand, the finger can open. Okay. So it's about three years now we're suffering with this stroke and the cramping in the foot. I've been singing for little since I was about six years old, so I'm accustomed with my father being intense and stuff with my father and hearing him talk about Stryker. And I know Stryker to be the first official Calypso monarch of the country. Um, he's also famous for, for being a good musician. He's one of the few Calypsonians, especially in his day, who used to write their own music. So really and truly, um, to me he's an inspiration, you know, as a writer and as a musician. From, you know, to give me the encouragement to try to write and my own music as well as my own words. Um, but I'm here really and truly um, as trying to make a contribution as young people because I believe that young people should respect and revere the elder ones. And this is an opportunity, I think, for us as young people to make a contribution, to, to, to give back to Stryker, to say thank you to him for all of his music, for all of the, the encouragement that he has given to a lot of young people. Um, uh, helping them to change lines and you know strengthen their performances and that kind of thing. So this is one way that I think that you know we as young people could give back something to him to show him that we appreciate him. You know um, because we have a tendency as Trinidadians to wait until somebody dies to then give them a posthumous award and to say how much we really love them. But here's an opportunity for us to do it in his lifetime when he should really appreciate and see how much we appreciate him and all that he has done for the art form and for young people. I tell people in the interview, I say the first one is core music for me, Shaika. And then people know that. But the other day, on a flame on the arm TV, I think it was, or the radio or something. Yeah. And I think it was the radio hard like. Yeah. A fella said he forced uh, the only Calypsonian to score, to score sheet, you know. I said, but where them they study these Calypso history for? And I have my Viking is to do it too? Viking, yeah, Viking help teach me. Well, is he? Is he? Yeah. history. Yeah. Viking help teach me. Well, is he? <laughs> You go down in the thing and buy a music catechism and read that. And what you don't understand, you continue asking musicians. Frankie Francis, Steven Diaz, after the photo. And just so the 10th, I take up music. And when I write music 1962, the Sergeant Phillips said, were you, were you known this so quick? I said, in the 10th, he said, the strangest thing I ever see. The fastest musician to read and write music. It didn't take me long. I had to go to school to, to learn music right in the tent. <laughs> but I was never the master on the instrument. I had to lift the instrument and play one time. Yeah, I have to learn it. I have to learn it first. I can't take it up just like that. And I was never the player as much as I could arrange and teach. I could do that more. But I'm not. I didn't mind, although I'm hand sick now, but even though when I did well, I couldn't play as much as I could teach and arrange. Well, I had the pleasure of meeting Stryker in 2000. That was um, Errol Fabian hosting the Maljo Calypso tent on Richmond Street. And Stryker would come by and perform absolutely free of charge. We had something called a lunchtime tent. And immediately after the performance, Stryker would make sure and come and sit down and we would talk about the tents of the past and I got a lot of the history of Calypso simply by talking to him and I think this is one of the unheralded icons of our music that we need to hold on to and I'm just glad that you know the guys are rallying around him especially at this time you know so all the best
They cackle him just like a chicken hawk, but they really have time to waste. Ten thousand cases at magistrate, they really make it fun. Well, for me, the striker mode, my first attraction really to striker is his diction. Very clean diction, you could always hear every syllable that, that he pronounced. And the language, the language, well, that era of Calypsonian tend to have a good command of, of English language and they tend to want to use proper English in Kaiso, although it's Kaiso, they sort of don't stick to the dialect so much, but they use a lot of standard English. And I admire that about Striker and, and the creative thinking. There is one where he talks about um, the, the grandfather clock, which I think is a classic. Where um, you have to listen to the song to understand what it's all about. And taken literally, it's a beautiful story. But when you find it's a double anta, when you get the other meaning, you will burst out in laughter. Beautiful composition. So. Um, the, the topical kind of calypsos that he would have sung would have been what really um, inspired me along the way, along with others, of course. Yeah. Generally, so the roof did change? Yeah, they do a roof. Right. We might be able to salvage some of the garments right? on the roof, mm -hmm. right? Yeah. De definitely that roof. All right. Yeah. All right, well, we're going to take a little tour and see. Okay. Exactly what's uh, oh, so yeah. Good? Yeah? Yeah. The roof for sure. Yeah, yeah. No question. Alright, you see? Yeah. You have to come inside to see yeah. it. See outside. See that? That is general pattern. Alright. So that is. Mosquito on water when the night comes. Yeah, right. Alright. Alright, for starters. Roof. Doing the roof now. It would mean taking off the existing to install a new one. In the interim, you have to relocate. That is another factor. Okay. Yeah. So, 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 what do you identify? Mm -hmm. What do you identify in the group? The starter? Yeah, the group. So, you need a stone. We're going to launch our official... Um, we're going to try. So, let's get to the government. Going to the government, going to the public, going to the private sector. Calypsonians, we appreciate your your um, contribution towards the culture in Trinidad and Tobago. I mean, it was good when we came here. I mean, it was a bit intimidating, you know, so you see the yard and everything, and you say, okay, how, where are we gonna start? But it, it turned out to be very good, and I mean, I enjoy it, um, and I'm thankful that he is around, that he, you know, he is striker could enjoy what we did to him today as well because we have a tendency to kind of honor people when they're gone so it's good that as young calypsonians as old calypsonians as young people we could honor a veteran like striker what the father trying to get him kaizo conscious so as he started to fuss the father say do first hear the father these are the last are the legends oh yo 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 these are the last and the very best. These are the men who still sing in Kaiso. 
just like Stryker did long ago. These are the last of the masters. Mm -hmm. Cherish them, son, while they're still around. Or when you see them fellas kick the bucket, oh yo, I don't know what gonna happen to Calypso. Mm -hmm. oh, 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 oh. I don't know what gonna happen to Calypso. So on behalf of the Office of the Calypso Monarch, I would like to thank all the people, all the Calypsonians who came out to support this activity. I know that some other Calypsonians, they may not have heard of the news before, but I know that their spirit and their, their vibes and support is there uh, to the ones who probably had other obligations and activities on. Please note that this is just the beginning. This is an ongoing activity, so we'll be hosting a number of other activities in order to raise awareness of strikers' situation and also to raise funds so that other Calypsonians and other well-wishers and supporters of Calypso, I would like to say to you, this is a moment, this is a time that you can contribute to the development of the art form by assisting a Calypsonian in time of need, the mighty strike. Take off the cap. 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 Take